impact. Inflation may be slowly falling, but Delhi is still waiting to exhale after dealing with months of rising prices. Vegetable prices have gone up because of low supply, and as for chicken, well, it's plain out of reach, even for the most hardcore non-veg families. NDTV sister channel Metro Nation's Amir Abdullah has more. Neela, busy with dinner for her two children. The domestic help spends her day cleaning four houses to earn 1500 a month. Affording a real meal for her family has always been a challenge. But this winter, she's given up. Where to eat used to be one of the biggest worries of Delhi. Now the question is how to eat. Samar Gulati, a first year student, shares this rented room with his friend. The 7,000 rupees his father sends him was always enough to cover rent, food, clothes and the occasional meal out. Not anymore. For the Malhotras, chicken at dinner was a must-have at least thrice a week. But chicken has now touched rupees 150 a kilo, nearly double the rate two months ago. That's because the price of the feed used for chicken has increased dramatically. And here's why butter chicken at home has become a distant memory for this hardcore non-veg family. Well, if I have to make a dish of chicken, uh, considering the rate of uh, tomatoes which is above 50 rupees a kg and the chicken which is above 150 rupees 140 rupees if I'm not wrong and the oil which is uh, about 75 to 80 rupees a kilo when the dish is finally made it touches about 200 rupees per plate in the sense per family which is exorbitantly high the good news is that chicken dishes at restaurants still cost what they used to a beaming manager explains why. We have not increased the chicken rate in our menu um, because we have yearly contact with the suppliers. But as they are now pressing upon us to, to give more rates for the contracted prices, more than the contracted prices, we, we might later on be compelled to increase. So while inflation may be falling, It'll be a while before Delhi can eat without worrying whether the price is right. In New Delhi, Amir Abdullah for NDTV.